Hello and welcome, Neil Ellis here from Tax TV. So it's the morning or the day after the Leeds Carabao Cup game. A uh, fair amount of following what uh, we took. Great atmosphere, I think it was just over 35,000 what were here. So atmosphere, rivalry, not see that for a bit again, uh, which is unfortunate. Always good to have a packed house. You know, banter and stuff going about, but... Yeah, uh, could have been a different story. We'll get into player ratings soon. Could have been a different story if, you know, school line, if it had gone in level at uh, half time. Just want to give a mention to a few people what I did see at game as well. It was nice to talk and and shakes and a, a banter and a natter. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll get on to it. Um, player analysis and, you know, we'll see where, where things could have gone. And like I say, if you say as well. Here we go. Bounds of player ratings for the Carabao Cup match. Uh, Walton, I mean, to be fair, he didn't have a bad game. I've, you know, he couldn't fault him for goals, it, you know, for class goals by, you know, class finishes, really. Commanded, uh, com you know, he commanded his area. Not at fault for any goals, I believe. You know, he did what he did. Tried to get play started, you know, whether it be short or long. He did try, you know, he was doing that sweeper keeper roll up against a good lead side, what we're identifying some at Eddie's, which we all know about. So for me, Walton a 6.5. Hello, well, um, again, 6.4, 6.5, but 6.4 for me. It, it is safe, steady game. I mean, it were a big stage for a lad to go on. Um, no, no doubting that. Thought he handled it well. Sometimes, though, and we'll get back, and it's not just uh, LOL in right wing back position, but again, when he was going forward, space was left behind at times, which we'll get on to defence. It seems to be a recurring theme this like now for the last few games, what's happening? And it's like frustrating me a bit like now for the, the cover what the defence is doing, and it's like opening our defence up. Williams came on for him. Again, for me, I couldn't really give him a rating, you know, for an impact kind of thing, but. Came on, we know what Williams can do in that position. But for me, well, a steady game. A steady game, didn't want to take any risk, just trying to keep it simple and uh, for basics. Uh, so for me, on stage, 6.4. Mads, you know, at back, he looked great. He looked solid. Getting forward in positions. Set pieces gain up and his well took and goal as well, you know, from front free kick. So for me, he tried to bis front back, he tried to create play going when he could do at times, but it seemed to be all of it back as well, covering it back. Again, you know, wing back positions getting too far advanced. He was moving over as one, so McCarthy were moving over to the right wing back position. So Mads were moving over or vice versa, left or right. But again, for me, I thought he had a Again, for me, one man at the match for Barnsley. Like I said, looked solid. Tried to, you know, get forward in positions when he could do set pieces and a deserved uh, goal. You know, deserved goal, 7.7. Connor McCarthy. Uh, he started well. I think for first 15, 20 minutes, we did start well. But he was having to cover right wing back position. And at times when that happened, you know, get away free, get, a, get away penalty for a, a needless, reckless tackling penalty area, leading to us conceding penalty. So for me, frustrating. I think he tried, you know, he tried being at EV in every way, he tried being solid, you know, doing his job. But at times we found wanting uh, because we were basically covering right wing back position. He would he were playing too far down the air and it was like like I said, we're opening our defence up our middle three, supposedly. Went to like middle two sometimes. So for me, five point four. Kitchen. Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep kitchen a seven uh, for this. Some might agree, disagree on this, but what I saw, we were trying to bring ball out. Again, isolated at times with a Clark who I thought I'd a shocker yesterday, if I'm being honest. Tracking back into his position, being pulled 
you know, this is for the majority of defence now. This is a frustrating thing. You can see a pattern at you. Derby County, at Plymouth away, you know, uh, Wickham, it's down that right channel and they're cutting in, they're cutting across. Yeah, so for me, <clears throat> it needs to get sorted out. We have a, the wing backs, you either get back quick enough and track back and we can't leave his uh, defence isolated or soon in midfield to track back. And we, I didn't see that. Uh, I didn't see that. Got into a scuffle. Um, and so a few, well, so a few, quite a few people around me were saying we were surprised he got so far where it had where he'd not had a bit of an altercation. But I think Yorkshire Derby, yellow card, you know, dust your sending down, get on with it. But that's what you want to see, that passion there. Um, and like I say, yellow card, get on with it. But for me, Kitchen, seven. Clark could do her. For me, it was a worry for me. Um, looked For me, it looked unsure at back. He didn't seem to be getting stuck in tackles. It was very light and shine away from tackles. And when he did have the ball, he would gain it away in possession too often. Just keep the basics. But he wanted to try and overplay it and overcomplicate it. And the amount of times he got it stole off him or lost possession and get advantage to Leeds. Uh, and I mentioned it before, but Kitchen and his ratings with McCarthy having to... For me, Kitchen were having to cover a lot at left wing back to help him out. Eventually, we were subbed off. I was surprised it took as long as he did before he got subbed off. But it might have been altered a bit quicker. Well, for me, I think Clark had, had, a, had, a, had a poor game, a really poor game, uh, 4.5. And again, some might think you're a bit harsh or whatever, but it's my opinions. Leave your comments below. But for me, 4.5 for Clark Adua. Styles and people say, oh, it's a, it's a, it's a poor rating because he's missed penalty and that. But you've got to look at overall picture, right? So we went back in midfield, which I don't think is his best position. Personally, for a for a for a, a balance of play, I don't think he's best position. But I'm not the coach. I'm not in training and stuff. But for me, when I see him play for Barnsley, he's not. That's for me. Don't work. It won't penalty whilst trying to create it in final third. So credit off to him. But then again, it was a shocker of penalty. My question is, why wasn't Norwood taking it? To game off at uh, score sheet, off at Mark. Benson was on form. Possibly Thomas. I was surprised that Styles took it because when you look at his previous penalty stickers, it's been like Woodrow. Yeah. Styles' body language. And then not long after that, he went into a tackle and he got a silly booking because he was frustrated. Because he was frustrated, he got his, he got a silly, silly, silly booking. And then tracking back, poor. I think it was um, an half assed clear and spire doer, which bobbled off to Leeds. <sighs> Styles didn't really put a tackle in, they were weak. Fair Brock, and that's where the problem started. But he didn't track back after it. Very, very weak in tackles. You need commit commitment in tackles. But again, people said, oh, he created penalty. Yeah, fair enough. But he do not mean necessarily mean to take, you know, he's got to take back. Now it's come out that apparently he's been practicing them in training and he's been blasting it top at net, you know, in corners and that. So what I saw yesterday, you know, I think goalkeeper could have dove to his right, got open, then still gone over again because it, it just seemed to be no power, you know. Goalkeeper got a touch it post, but for me, 4.5 for Styles. A frustrating player, and I don't think he's I don't know if I just think his mind is on something else. I think it's on something else. It, it what I'm reading and what I'm looking at on pitch, frustrating. Thomas started well, like a lot of players, he started well. He was trying to link up and drive forward and create chances, but. Leeds, I mean, credit where credit's due with Leeds, got some class players, but actually done a the job. They'd worked it out, they'd know what to, you know, get someone on him, um, mark him out, not like, having the freedom of space. Well, under Mark came on the second half, again, I think more physical muscle presence, if I'm being honest. I, I can't really give 
a rating for Will, but we came in, we did what we required, chase down, you know, chase ball down uh, for throw-ins and stuff like that. So he did a job. But for me, I think Thomas, 6.8. Benson, again, started well. The first 15, 20 minutes, they looked really, I wasn't comfortable, but they looked assured. They looked, you know, right, this isn't going to phase this kind of thing. We're, we're taking it to them. We aren't really creating out. We try, again, trying to win battles in midfield. Busy across Viola midfield, trying to get things going. But again, just like it, uh, we had done on Thomas, Lee's were quality in closing down. We knew what we had to do. We bypassed it with quick breaks. Bypassing midfield and going to right wing back or left wing back role. So again, Benson were having to do a lot of running about, a, a box to box, and, and try and get things going again. So for me, Benson, I want to give him a seven. Uh, Benson, Uka Connell came on. Again, little time to really make an impact. But what also was you still, it's a requirement. Chase it down. Don't give up. Show commitment. Norwood. Frustrating. Uh, I think fitness, I, I don't know. It, at times, it, it looks like strolling. At times, I think fitness is still not right. If I'm being honest, I don't think we have any real threat from him to at least defence. I think, you know, they had him in back pocket kind of thing for, if it if it's not patronising. Not winning battles. He was trying. He was trying to win battles, but when it wasn't going his way, he started getting frustrated and started complaining to uh, Lino and stuff like that. So you could tell that he wasn't happy. Probably it might have been his own performance. Things weren't going his way. But... For me, I didn't see a threat. I didn't see a danger. Um, people, you know, people behind me, he's not a 15, 20 goal striker. Is he going to be a 10 goal? Is he going to be a double figure 10 goal striker? I don't know. At this moment in time, I don't see it. I don't see the threat. Going to Tedic. Really impressed when he came on. Really impressed. He came on. He got an ovation, he acknowledged it, and as soon as he came on for me, he tried to link ball up, he was trying to flick on, he was trying to knock on, cross came in, he were unlucky. Maybe people say he should have done better, but it's getting to pace the game, we edited it down, it went wide. But for me, I'd like to see him, What what on that base, what I saw get at Leeds, and some people like to say, yeah, it's a flashing pan and all that kind of stuff. But why not get involved in the first team squad setup? Not saying start straight away, but looking at that performance when it came on, I think it could be if he gets a goal or two, I could see his confidence checking off here. Whether he starts or on bench at Ipswich, I don't know. But there's no later Zeka. He wants even in squad. He wants on bench. So that says for me, Tedich was coming as a well. Let's be honest; he come as a development player to be in the squad for a, a cup game. And no, Lays Azeka is he on his way out. This is just me surmising, by the way. I'm not saying that he is, but again, I te Tedich on what I saw via what I tried doing. Uh, I'm, I'm back. Short time he were on pitch. So for me, I'm going to give Tedich a 6.0. I'm going to give him a 6. Just because of the, the brightness and the liveliness he, he won when he came on. Dante Cole. I didn't know if to do a, a 7 or just under a 7. But for me, I thought he started well. He tried running. He, he, you know, he got the free kick, which led to a Anderson scoring goal. But he tried holding ball, he tried winning headers, he ran into space. But, and this sounds probably right or wrong, but for me, he didn't really get any support up front. The lad was trying, but he didn't make it, it, it kind of reflected on him. Oh, at times, they were a bit frustrating, but when you look all around him, they didn't really get any support up front. Now, when Tedich came on and worked alongside him in second half, 
it did look a bit more of a threat. It l- did look more uh, running and creating spaces, whether that's Tedic being in a, a Premier League environment or set up, should I say, at Man City, as you learn this, where you can run into channels and create space for others to come in and take back man art kind of thing, if you know what I mean. If Tedic is running down right and he takes a defender away with him, is that creating space for Devante Cole? I don't know. But I thought it looked more of a threat when Tedic came on alongside Cole than it did to Norwood. So for me, I'm getting seven for Cole because his work rate, he was trying. He did it his all. He got it, you know, it wasn't as if he was shirking from out. He was trying, lad. Uh, so for me, I want to get seven. Again, it's all about opinions and people out there might agree or disagree. But I think what we can agree on is that there's still work to be done. I think there's still work to be done up front, which is obvious. I still think we need another striker. I still think we need another eight wing back. And don't tell us from Ben is a bonus. Uh, midfielder, yeah, I like it. But a priority for me, or us as fans at minute, I think we all agree, is a striker. Or maybe two, if the case may be, if Ezekiel's going. And that's my that's all my opinion. It's not like what I've heard or not what I've said, or it's just what I'm saying is in what my thoughts are about the situation at play is what's at club at minute. So for me, I'd one. If we could get to win, you know, then fair fair play. Definitely right wing back. I think that's going to be a, a problem position for us. And a lot might depend on other factors, i.e. players going to make way. But as we're going in like now to the final week of a transfer window, and, you know, what's been rumoured to have been said today is that it's more than likely that players, or if any, come in, play, player or players, sorry, come in, it's going to be, you know, next week, not this week which is fine, fair enough. But are we going to be going to, you know, not the week, but the last day? A lot of unknowns. But again, my take on the game, I think I think the second penalty looked at more Stonewall one than first. From where I was, it, the first penalty did look soft, if I'm being fair. But the second one, it looked absolutely nailed on for me. It looked nailed on for me. It want to be. Would it have been a different story if we'd have just gone in just, just before half time at 2-2? It would have been a different team talk. It would have been a different, for both sides, but it would have been a different mentality for us. I would, I would have come out the second half and approached it. But it is what it is. Uh, we move on. We, we go to league and we go to uh, Pizza Trophy next, don't we? So it's Ipswich, then Lincoln, then Sheffield Wednesday. So fixtures coming up. Thick and fast, no, I don't know. Even more, why we've got to get like a, a squad together, not just a team, but a squad, what's going to be capable to fire on all cylinders. So, again, people that as you know, did go. Well, Leeds United versus Bounds, have you all seen the comments below? Who are your man at match? Who were you disappointed with? It'd be interesting to get people's thoughts on this. Um, realistically, were we expecting a win from Leeds? No. Did we hold a zone in areas and in parts? Yeah, we did. But I suppose we pick up different things from there to learn and move on. What I would like to see is the wing-back position sorted out so we're not being exposed and as vulnerable and been positioned all the time. That's my thoughts. So, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. As you always do, I appreciate every comment, every like and every subscribe. One thing left to say, you read.